Hi, I'm Eric and filming my phone and welcome to another video. Today, Olivia Rodrigo decided to pull the ultimate April Fool's Day prank and drop her second single and it's titled Deja Vu and I'm just really excited to get into it. You know how much I love driver's license from, you know, January and like I still listen to that song on a regular basis. It definitely like hits for me and that's not even like oh, I hear it on the radio because I don't listen to the radio. Like, it's like me, like, actively choosing to play the song. And I play it a lot because it's really fun. It's really cool. I love how she's morphed all her inspirations into her own sound. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get into it. There's both a song and music video. So we're going to start with the song. Oh, I like that little haunting melody. Car ride, driver's license vibes. Trading jackets, laughing about how small it looks on you. It's <laughs> already used. He's done those tricks before. When she's with you, do you get deja vu? Oh, that was a drop? Okay, Olivia. Dang, she's really calling him out. Oh, sing, Olivia. Oh, she's speeding up the original verse, just like getting faster. Oh, the delivery sounds like Cruel Summer. You know, she's a Swifty. I know you get deja vu, she knows it. So that was deja vu and wow. Okay, Olivia, okay. She is definitely, you know, getting into the, you know, biting more side. Like she's definitely like, oh, Josh, maybe. Uh, when Sabrina's with you, do you get deja vu? She's another actress, another Disney star. Like, oh, he has a tight. Uh, wow. Like, yeah, she's definitely like calling him out or calling whoever her ex is out for, you know, basically doing the same thing <laughs> with his new girl that he did with her. And yeah, like, it sounds really good. It's definitely a different vibe. It's definitely something I think. Headphones will be really useful, and it, and I think headphones were really useful for driver's license as well. But, like, I think especially with how, like, loud the production is, like, it's definitely something I gotta, like, you know, ingrain myself with. But it's very exciting to hear. It's definitely something really interesting. Um, definitely something that I feel like does combine a lot of her vibes of, like, being a Swifty and loving Lord. Like, it definitely feels similar to that. Uh, yeah, like, it's a cool vibe. Uh, definitely, you know, also fits, like, her age demographic, like, you know, like, she's not trying to be, like, you know, 21 plus. Like, she's just trying to, like, make the music that's fun for her and also, like, interesting. It's really interesting, and I think that anyone of any audience can listen to it. Uh, but, like, it definitely feels like it's based on her personal experience, if that makes sense. And it definitely feels inherently relatable because it's based in her own experience. But I really like it and I really want to watch the music video now. <laughs> oh, she's just licking that ice cream. Okay. Definitely gives me a retro vibe with, you know, the bandana and then just on the coast. Oh, was that a glimpse of the guy? Ooh, I like that rock house thing. Okay. Ooh, is that Olivia watching Olivia? Oh, that's not Olivia. Oh, she left immediately. Oh, she's wearing the same dress that apparently he gave to his new girl. Oh, she adding TVs. Okay, images. I hate to think that I was just your type. That's such a cruel line. 
Oh. I love how she's backgrounding herself. Oh. She's doing comparisons between her life and, and her life. Oh, those color distortions. I see you. Oh, she's waving at her. Oh, oh, she's wrecking the TVs. Oh, wow. Oh, the one she does not destroy is like of her, like doing whatever. And by whatever, I mean driving in the car. I just couldn't have the thoughts come quickly enough. <laughs> So that was the music video, and I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Like, that was good. I think it definitely enhanced the song for me. Like, you know, she's, you know, putting herself in the next lover's shoes, or, you know, seeing how the next lover was put into her shoes, and, like, you know, the glaring similarities. It definitely fits with the song's vibe. Uh, I like that it's, like, very, like, vintage-y, like, I don't know, like, maybe there's a filter in there, and then, like, just also, like, the driving with the bandana just feels very vintage to me, and, like, you know, dress, like, there wasn't a whole lot, besides, like, those old TVs, like, very vintage again, like, there wasn't a whole lot of, like, technology being used, so it definitely gave off that, like, old-fashioned type of vibe, and it was a cool vibe that I didn't expect Olivia to go in, because I feel like driver's license felt so brand new, like, in my opinion, like, it just felt, like, so cool. But, like, I think Deja Vu kind of lends itself to a vintage feel. And I can't really clearly articulate why that is. But it's definitely something that I feel is definitely makes sense to me. Like, the sonics definitely match the visuals. And I think the visuals ended up looking really beautiful. And, again, as I mentioned, I thought the song would be better in headphones. And, you know, while listening to it in headphones, it sounds a lot better. And I really like it. I think I still prefer Driver's License over it. Uh, maybe just because, you know, I have some, there's something like really iconic about it. But I think also I like, I think there's a more of a clear distinction between parts in Driver's License than in Deja Vu. And I really liked that. I felt like that makes it feel more like a complex song, I guess, for it to like shift like that. Though I do really like this song too. And I'm definitely going to add it to my playlist. I'm definitely going to play it again and again. What are your thoughts on the song? Do you like the direction Olivia Rodrigo is heading? Are you excited for her EP album? I can't recall what's coming next from her. But I'm excited to hear your thoughts and I'm excited to see what she brings to us in the future. If you like this video, please like it, please comment down below. If you'd like me to react or listen to next, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and you'd like to be. And thanks for watching. This is Cheryl Stormer. Catch you later. It's storming turtles. From out of the sky, turtles don't need to know why. Smile big, open your eyes. It's storming turtles, it's storming turtles. From out of the sky, turtles don't need to know why. Smile big, open.